Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with Golden Opportunities Coaching. Been a while since I've been here, probably about a month, month and a half. Um, had some health challenges, as, as most of you know. Had some issues with um, uh, being laid up due to rheumatism and other challenges uh, for 18 months. I've, I've mentioned that in a previous audio. And the winter is really difficult for me. So uh, the last month has been about a couple of things. One of which is a project that took much longer than I expected. The other of which is some health flare-ups, plus I'm high risk for COVID as well. So a uh, bunch of stuff, hopefully December into January. Definitely by January, things will level back off. My hope is to give you content on a regular basis. In any event, uh, we are going to look here at a couple of things in today's audio. And like I said, hopefully back to daily or... More regular audios uh, as we go into December. So, how do you know if someone hates you or has hatred for you or just really despises who you are as a person? And there's about, uh, let's see, five, six, seven or so things I want to go through with you. Closed body language. So, if they're looking tense, if their arms are crossed, if they are... Uh, shoulders kind of forward and, and almost in a, in a stance of ready posture, ready to fight, ready to disagree. That is a sign. Um, people who look confrontational, so their body is forward. They are um, kind of shoulders forward on the front of their feet as though they're about to start walking away. They are, there's tension in their arms, tension in their hands. This can easily be a sign. Seconds, really simple. They avoid eye contact with you. So you might catch them glancing at you once or twice in a conversation. But for the most part, they're looking past you, around you, by you, behind you, in front of you, to the side of you. They are avoiding your gaze. They're avoiding your eye contact because they realize that if they make eye contact with you and you say the wrong thing at the wrong time, they're going to lash out and it's not going to be good. The opposite of this is also true. If they stare, if they will not take their eyes off of you, almost as if they're begging you to make a first move towards a disagreement, physical fight, confrontation, verbally, or other form of uh, conflict, they are there. The next is really simple, and that is fake conversations. So what's a fake conversation? Fake conversation is really, um, you know, it's tight answers. It's you're leading the conversation. They're giving you maybe a sentence here, a sentence there. Um, their body language isn't matching their tone of voice. Their eye movements aren't matching the rest of their body. In other words, something just feels off, but usually it denotes a difference between vocal tones, speed, and enthusiasm level and the rest of the body language, they don't match. Another thing is, if they're not mimicking your body language at all. So, mimicking happens on an unconscious or subconscious level. It happens because we fall into the subconscious nature of mimicking people we like. So, if they're not moving anywhere near the way you're moving or making contact the way you're doing it, then they do not like you. And have intense challenges. Now, obviously, if one of these things comes up during one conversation, not that big a deal. But if you continually have many of these symptomatic things, um, you might want to look at the value of the relationship as a whole. The next, I think I talked on a little bit, but I'll re-establish here. And that is short answers. Yes, no, less than two sentences to an answer. And that's the whole conversation. If you're always in the lead of the conversation, the conversation isn't going anywhere unless you direct it. There's definite hostility there. The final is they do not choose to make contact with you outside of conversations you already have. So a person who is interested and invested in you is going to be interested in having conversations with you. They're going to be interested in connecting with you on a deeper level and on a consistent level. When that does not happen, there is some form of, of negativity there. So... Hopefully this is helpful. If you'd like help dealing with uh, social interactions that aren't going very well, please feel free to contact me here or on Twitter at PO Perception. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.